And more recently, we've recognized that actually we need to go up a level and think that this has fundamentally different implications to the way we manage. So we've done a lot of bottom-up lean, and we've done a lot of widespread engagement in people in eliminating waste and a continuous improvement, and that's great. The weakness, of course, is top management doesn't believe it has to change, and you never link the points of improvement to create bottom line results. And so you may waste a tremendous amount of energy, enthusiasm, and money and time uh, creating ambitions and expect expectations that cannot be fulfilled. So on top of the bottom up, we have to also now think about lean top down as well. Top down means the ability to focus an organization on the vital few things that will make the biggest difference to the survival of that organization. And then to see the organization as a collection of value streams that create the value the organization is delivering. So we need to think top down, bottom up, and end to end. Trying to synthesize the tasks of management. And this is important because I do fear that we will spend a lot of time and run into the sand <coughs> ignoring the need to change the way top management actually thinks. Because top-down man top management uh, is the only way, ultimately, we're going to succeed with Lean. So we do have to actually really articulate this. This is my current hypothesis as to what the tasks of management are. The first task of management at any level is to determine what's important. I started off my talk with the first thing you do with any A3 is, why is this important? So what is important? And how do we focus everybody on the vital few? I'm going to elaborate on that in a moment, because I think that's the skill that management are weakest at, and yet is extraordinarily important. The second task of management is, if you know what the vital few are, what the vital few things that would make the biggest difference to the performance of your organization then what projects, improvements, activities would you deploy to close those performance gaps? And the third, which is, uh, and that's the, that's the flowing down part of that three-level abeya that I showed before. The third task of management at any level is to create, initially create stability and then flow and then synchronization. Uh, of the processes they're responsible for. So creating stability, ob unblocking obstacles to flow, and, um, and linking and synchronizing all of the enabling support activities to make the value stream flow. Absolutely fun fundamental. Unless you stabilize, in a situation where things are going to continue, or unless you have a clear path for a development, developmental process, um, then, uh, then you're, you're shooting in the dark. So those are two sides of the same coin, in a sense. And you can interpret those in the language of development, you can interpret those in the language of production or service delivery, as you, as you wish. There are two more. The, the fourth task is to create the next generation of managers. And this is about creating the thinking processes and the disciplines and the approach based on the a3 process based on mentoring, based upon the experiential learning in the abeya kind of environment, all of those tools that we need to help turn everybody into a good problem solver. And uh, yeah, and the fifth I add, which I think is extremely important and particularly relevant to the IT industry is how to then, in the light of being able to free up time by doing these things, how do you specifically prepare for a changing environment, a rapidly changing environment? Most organizations are not doing this, and yet it's absolutely, in my view, fundamental. And where organizations get beyond the stage of improving their existing processes and understanding where their existing assets are wrongly deployed, wrongly designed in the wrong locations, 
That gives you the insight to start with a clean sheet and saying, now, if we were starting again, which we can do with a next generation product, we would conceptualize the customer demand very differently. We would design the product or the service very differently. We would choose very different equipment and locations in which to make it. And we would fundamentally change the business model of our industry. So I think you can do that by starting from scratch as an entrepreneur without that drag of existing assets. But I think you can also begin to do it in some cases by seeing beyond your existing asset and defining value back from the customer. So I think those are the five tasks of management. I think they apply anywhere generically, whether it's IT or any other industry. Let me just elaborate a little bit, particularly on the first two, three. In terms of being able to decide what's important, I think there are three core capabilities that I am experiencing that my current ex hypothesis is there are three of these characteristics uh, that management need to learn and we need to coach and develop in terms of deciding what's important. The first is analyzing the strategic objectives. Okay. To understand the significance of focusing on quality, time, and cost. And I'll illustrate that in just a minute. The second is to see, as I said before, seeing the organization as a collection of value streams. And going beyond the, uh, the obvious revealing waste of waste to the deep causes of variation. And I will describe that as well. And the third one is to translate the objectives into performance gaps, into targets, then obviously into closing those gaps, and then doing the difficult part, which is to translate the freed up resources that come out of an improved process to actually do something with those freed up resources in order to turn, to turn the results into increased sales, freed up cash, reduced cost, and save CapEx.